Yo, yo, yo. I feel like it should be like right there. I wish I could see. Like, yo, what's up, everybody? I'm back again with another Minecraft YouTube video. Alright, fuck it, we're rolling. So, welcome back. This is my third try trying to film this. Um, I, again, can't leave the house. Can't believe I'm saying that for like the fifth time. Also, I hate you, Lewis. I do not stutter that much. I, um, I just think about what I'm gonna talk. So I don't stutter. I wanted to, um, give a, a story, you know? I'm gonna tell everybody about the time I almost died. Um, let's name this guy, um, because of, give his name Ricardo, okay? We're not gonna put his real name because that's kind of messed up because he's my boy, but he almost killed me. So think about this. Let me paint this, let, let me paint the scene in your head real quick. So me, right? Pretty, pretty well-rounded person. I hang around with my boys, you know, that's about it. You know, the boys, but that's what I used to do. Weekends, boys, Saturdays, boys. I go around and hang to this other guy. Let's call him, let's call him, um, let's call him Stanley. All right, we always hang around Stanley's place, right? Stanley's the man. We go to Stanley's place every, every weekend. Stanley's house is the wave. So it's me, Ricardo, and this other guy. Let's uh, let's give him a different name, you know? Let's give him um, Richie. No, 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 right, that's gonna be too confusing. Let's give him, let's give him, ah, I don't know a name. What's a name, what's a name, what's a name? Let's give him, let's give him Stooge. It's me, Ricardo, and Stooge. We're going over here to Stanley's house. We're chilling. We're chilling, we're, you know, we're maybe having a couple drinks, you know, drinks, and you know, the night goes on, we start demolishing Stanley's fridge. You know how, when you like bite in, when you like eat something and you're, and you're off it, and it just tastes amazing. Well, it's probably like two in the morning, me, Ricardo, Stooge, knock out on Stanley's, Stanley's, um, Stanley's couch, right? Stanley wakes us up, he's like, bros, you guys wanna stay sleeping on the couches or you guys wanna dip? Ricardo over here, Ricardo brought us to the to Stanley's house. Ricardo was like, nah, bro, we're gonna drive, okay? Right, let me tell you that. Ricardo said, nah, I'm gonna drive. I'm going out. I've had, I was pretty good. I could drive, let me tell you, I've driven way worse. I was like, yo, Ricardo, let me drive, bro. He's like, nah. I don't know why I'm talking like this. He said, nah. I was like, bro, you sure? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure, I'm sure. Yo, if a ghost comes up behind me, you guys gotta tell me in the comments. He was like, yeah, bro, I'm sure. Let me drive. I was like, I bet. Stooge didn't even pay mine. He was off it. Me, Stooge, and Ricardo get in Ricardo's car. I was in the front. Stooge goes in the back. Knocks out as soon as Ricardo turned on the heater. He's warming up his car, right? 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 I, out of a miracle, never put on, well, backstory, I never put on a seatbelt. It's really bad, but you should guys put on a seatbelt. But I never put one on. I don't know why. This night, I decided to put on a seatbelt. I'm like, you know what? Let me be safe. Just in case something happens, seatbelt. Blam. Right? Knock out, because, you know, I'm tired. It's like three in the morning. He puts on a heater. What else am I supposed to do? I knock out, right? I woke up because his car went on top of the, Ricardo's car went on top of the, the La Vereda, the sidewalk, there you go. He went on top of the sidewalk. I feel like my lips are chapped. In like a split second, bam, we go over, we, we like completely tear out of the floor those like pedestrian walking signs, like that signal across sign. I don't know, I'll put a picture there. Then, I have a split second where I turn my head, I look over to Ricardo. He just woke up because of that sign. He didn't even wake up because of the, I was going on the sidewalk. He woke up because we took down that sign. A split second, look over to my left, then look back straight. We hit a pole. We hit one of those light posts. We were going like 40 miles per hour. 
hard as shit. Like the thing I remember was the seatbelt holding me back and then like glass crashing into, into the car after we hit the pole. Let me tell you, if you guys ever play Call of Duty, it's exactly like that. It's like a flashbang just hits you. My vision was like blurry, like it's not like being drunk. It's like you can't see anything. And I hear Stooge in the back. Stooge is like, yo, I hit my nose hard as hell against against Ricardo's back seat. He's bleeding, Stooge is bleeding in the back. And then I look over, like everything's ringing. I look over at Ricardo and he's like, yo, bro, he's like scared as hell. He's like, bro, what? I don't know what happened, I don't know what happened. Turns out he fell asleep on the steering wheel. That's why he, he, he like, it just completely like ran. In his defense, in case he's watching this, he did have a long day at work. We did like peer pressure him into coming to the house. I'm looking over to him. He's like, he's like, bro, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. And then like blood's like running down his like his nose as he's talking. Like like it's scary. And I'm just like I'm just like oh. I bump my knees hard as hard as hell against the the dashboard. That's that's the only thing that happened to me. But it hurt like oh. me trying to get out of the car was like. The car door was stuck, so I had to push it so hard that it almost, it like, I don't remember if it fell over or if it like cracked open. That I was just like, I was just trying to get out of there because I got scared. I, I told Stooge because Stooge was a, Stooge was a youngin back then. So it wouldn't be, it wouldn't have been ideal. So I was like, yo Stooge, let's get out of here. Like, like, I'm sorry, Ricardo, but he's like, it's not okay. We got to dip. So then I get out of the car and then like everything's ringing, everything's blurry. Then so I yell just like, I hear a voice to just say like, don't go under the cables. And I'm like, I look up and like, I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? And then I, I look up and it's just like those light cables just dangling. It's, they're just dangling like in top of us. Stu just following me behind. He's like, bro, I feel so scared. I don't know what's gonna happen to Ricardo. Yo, I can't stop bleeding. And I'm like, I'm like, I was like, fuck. So then I just take off my socks because, you know, I was like, I don't know how else I would stop him from bleeding. So I just take off my socks, give him so he can like cover his nose. And I'm sorry, I give him so I can, he can cover his nose so he stops bleeding. That's like the only thing I can come up with. And then we walk out, we walk, walk into like the side, the road, the side roads, like they're inner roads. We were like on a main street. So we just walk into where the houses are. And we all just start walking like we're both limping. It's like we just survived, like we, we just survived the car crash. I'm calling Stanley, I'm calling him and calling him. He never picks up, he never picked up. I was like, bro, I was left on my voice and I was like, bro, Ricardo crashed, come help us. We need a ride somewhere. For a good 20 minute walk, 25 minute walk. We go to his house and I'm like, I'm like helping him clean up just in case he doesn't like pass out in the middle of it. Uh, this is how his car ended and um, we were like, damn, like, if you see it, like, you really see it, the pole fell on my side, the passenger side, and in my head, I'm like, and, like, looking back on it, I'm like, damn, that shit should've, that, that thing should've crushed me. I don't know why the car didn't cave in, it was such, like, an old car, too. After I got, after I helped, um, after I helped Stooge clean up, Ricardo called us crying, he's like, bros, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to fall asleep on the road. He was, like, panicking. We were just like, nah, bro, just chill. Just go go be with your parents or some shit. Like, just take care of the problem. Don't worry about us. He's, he's a hard worker, Ricardo. If you're seeing this, you know who I'm talking about, bro. That's about, that's that's my story for, my story time to time I almost died. This is gonna be excellent. Um, a title, you know, I almost died. Thanks for tuning into my TED Talk. I do not stutter. Lewis, I don't stutter. Thank you very much for watching. Ooh. I wear seatbelts now, most of the time. <laughs>